Hello, you beautiful people. I've uh, just been to town. Here comes the sun. Yeah, and uh, I'd love to, to just uh, talk about food. And uh, it's really muddy out here, and I can't catch the animals. <laughs> they don't want to be caught. So we're just going to enjoy whoever comes into the picture. So I went to town. And uh, 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 what I want to share is what I've learned on my journey about food. And uh, I wouldn't say I, ha I don't have perfect health. I might not have ever had because I've been so, yeah, what happened to me all through my life with antibiotics and all these things. Uh, but what I can see really, really works uh, is that we move, most of us move towards more animal, animal products. And in these times when veganism is so strong, it, it just, it, uh, <laughs> it sounds so wrong. And also for we who love animals, how can you uh, love animals and butcher them and eat them and, and all this. But, um, so it's, it's a huge big subject, but um, I just want to encourage you that no matter what you're eating to really, really question if, you, if you're not feeling very well, and your gut is not very well and maybe you also have a lot of maybe anxiety or depression or you just feel you're not well and and a good a good sign is feeling joyful so if you're not feeling deeply joyful chances are you're eating something wrong because what happens very quickly when you when you start having meat and animal products is you actually feel very joyful <laughs> it's so funny and when you feel joyful, anything's possible. I mean, everything starts working in a good direction. So anyway, we'll just, just talk a bit about this. So I just went to town and I don't, I don't have uh, breakfast really. And I think that's a good thing because many people are talking about intermittent fasting. So uh, don't eat in the morning. And really you don't need it because as soon as you go towards the animal products and you have more protein and fat, you won't be hungry in the morning. And your blood sugar fluctuations will stop completely. But it was about 10 o'clock and I'd been to the shops and I bought this beautiful ham because I'm going to make some waffles I'll show you in a few days, whenever uh, the time is right. And I bought this gorgeous ham and then on the way home I just felt so hungry. I was starving. So I thought I'm going to have I'm going to have a slice of ham. So that's what I've had for my breakfast or morning meal. I've had water all morning, and I'm taking these different um, herbal things. But yeah, I've told you about actually already. So, but all fluids all morning. And uh, I had this big piece of ham, and I felt I felt so satisfied. And that's what happens when you, if you've not had meat for a long time and you have a piece of meat, you feel so good. It just like, it, it's like all your cells are just saying, oh, yes, 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 yes. 
because the nutrients in the meat are really in beef there are really all the nutrients we need at all as humans in beef but this was a piece of pork but there are there are nutrients in pork that are also really beneficial um, so I feel so nourished I feel so well I feel I just don't feel hungry at all and it's just this one slice of bacon or, or ham with some fat on it it's so fascinating and uh, so yeah uh, yeah I think I'm going to talk a lot about this and it's Mary isn't she beautiful she's beautiful that's so beautiful you naughty I couldn't catch you <laughs> so about the animals and us butchering them I have said this before and this playlist I'll, I'll make a new playlist this will be a, an introduction to this new playlist where I talk about meat and animal products and just all different things about this and I put some videos with some actually gorgeous very gorgeous men <laughs> gorgeous doctors who I think are just really shining the light to help us heal and they're talking about the ketogenic diet and the carnivore diet and how it's helped them and also how it's helping hundreds of thousands of people so the whole thing of butchering animals really uh, the animals love us there, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind and in my heart we've had this this little farm for 30 years now and we've had a milking cow all the time and she would produce a calf and we would butcher the calf but we actually mainly ate lamb when our kids were little, so when we were young, we had lamb. And we didn't have it every day. We had sometimes, uh, we had lamb, a leg of lamb. It's really, really lovely meat. We didn't have very much beef because we sold that to some people who like that. And, uh, and we had the, I had the idea that maybe beef is not so good because you hear all these rumors. Um, so, but just going back to the, how the animals feel, the animals love us. The animals love us deeply and they actually are here to help us and uh, they want us to be well so if you have cannot afford grass the best is grass-fed uh, meat uh, the animals even the pigs they're on grass they're in nature and they might be in a stable for some months of the year but most of the year they're outside and they're getting the sunlight and they're they're happy animals. That's the best, but that's of course that's the most expensive. And many people, especially maybe many people who are sick, can't afford it. I just want to say to you: eat whatever you can find of meat, especially beef, any beef, because meat heals. Meat heals us. And uh, so that's, this is just, I feel, a message from me to you, from, from, from the animals, that they love you. And they have no bad feelings about you eating their meat. They actually feel very honored that you eat them. Uh, and for you who, who feel, oh, this might be good to try, give it a go. And if you start eating meat, um, just take some beef, take some, uh, some ground beef, put some ghee, in the pan or in a saucepan or something whatever you have or coconut oil but ghee or tallow is even better ghee and tallow because it's animal and uh, make it really hot put the put the mince in there and just stir it round and if you're very sensitive when it's nice and brown and smells really nice pour some water on it and let it cook for five minutes and drink that with salt and pepper or just salt maybe a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar just drink that and that that's your meal and feel how you feel because the thing about animal products is that it is bioavailable nutrients our body knows exactly what to do with it because it is our body the human body has been trained or used to through millions of years to eat this stuff and it is, I mean, we are a body, we're eating a body, we're eating some, it's, it's completely natural. So our, our system knows exactly what to do with it and it's very, it more or less, 
the nutrients slide into your blood. When you drink a glass of that broth, it's just meat broth, meat stock, the nutrients go straight into your blood. You don't have to digest it. So powerful. So I love this. I love meat. I really love meat. <laughs> I also love milk and I have a lot of milk, fermented milk. Yeah, yeah. So let's go and sit and look at the animals. So, uh, and I'll say goodbye. Just have a closer look. Yeah, yeah. So beautiful. It's not dangerous. It's not dangerous. No, 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 no. So Mary says, goodbye. See you.